Good morning. Happy Women's Day. Today I am painting my friend Samoy and um, we met when we lived um, outside of Detroit in Michigan and we had joined a co-op, um, a homeschool co-op group that was in Detroit and so that is where we got to know Samoy and um, it was a really it was a really fun group. You had to go through the challenging areas of Detroit and kind of be in those areas to be a part of the group. That's where it was located. That's where they met. And so it was something I was really grateful that my kids would get that experience of not just um you know, kind of living in our own little bubble, but just remembering that once again you can cross borders and boundaries and um and just even in your own neighborhood end up places that are just completely different and kind of learn from them and, and learn what, what their needs are. Um, so in this particular situation, um, I got to know Samoy mostly when she was um, diagnosed with cancer. So I was able to spend some time with um, her kids and her family um, as she went through that. And it was, it was just, she was such a fun, inspiring, vigorous person. And not only um, was she working to homeschool her kids and on her own business, but she had tried to get a um, park put in in their little neighborhood in Detroit. And that was denied by the city. They didn't want to invest in parks. And there was just nowhere appropriate for the children to play right there. And so this was just really, she was really passionate about this, that the neighborhood needs a park. And um, so she did a phenomenal thing of um, getting other people excited about this idea and raising funds, um, buying a piece of property and working on this park initiative to make a community space and a park where people could gather and and just have a, a good and appropriate place to play so it was it was incredible to see that once again that example of um making good things <laughs> and making things that just make spaces a little better for everybody um is such an effort, right? I mean, most of us, you know, we put out the effort to go and enjoy a park and we're like, oh, we did it. Um, but <laughs> how cool is it to be the people that choose to make a park? I mean, that's incredible. So I just, I don't know, it was really inspiring to me. And then, um, but to watch how she worked for good here while having an eternal perspective was incredibly powerful because she was facing, you know, just battling this, this cancer and, um, and it, it didn't go the way any of us would have hoped. And, um, but to see, um, just the, the perpetual, um, gratitude and, um, and joy that she faced the struggle with was so impacting. Um, and towards the end, I got to um, spend some time with her and her mom in the hospital. And I will never forget that visit because the hospitals just aren't fun places to be in. And um, it, there's there's a lot that we could choose to complain about in you know those circumstances. And they didn't. And it was just an incredible moment of, you know, I went there and I'm, I'm visiting with them and we're having a beautiful visit, but their hearts were just in a constant posture of gratitude and they couldn't stop saying, I mean, here she is, she's in horrible pain. She's suffering. She's at the end of her life and she couldn't stop being grateful for everything around her. This is such a great, you know, the place they're taking care of us. We've met so many good staff and, um, and just that, that was a tremendous impact on me. And I think, um, that spirit of gratitude is what was able to propel her for the other work that she did as well. And I think when, when, you know, we are grateful people that we are able to have a much bigger impact and see what we can be doing and how we can be helping instead of, you know, focusing on all of our own needs or all of our own wants. Um, so here is Samoy. Um, she lost her battle with cancer in March of 2020. Um, so that always kind of marks the beginning of the trials of 2020 for me as um, losing Samoy. But getting to know her was definitely the gift of a lifetime. So I hope you enjoyed this quick study. Um, one never feels you can do people justice in paint, but it's just such an honor and a privilege to just get to paint these people. All right. Happy Women's Day. I hope you have a wonderful day.